Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com, and I'm going to do another quick weekly recap of MMO news and announcements for the week ending September 4th, 2011. And as you can see from the video playing in the background, the first piece of news that we're going to take a look at this week has to do with Dragon Saga, the 3D side-scrolling fantasy action MMORPG published by Gravity. It used to be called Draconica Online, but it was renamed to Dragon Saga. And the news is that on September 1st, Gravity released New Origins Into the Darkness expansion for the game, which added a new continent, a new race, the Dragonkin, which enacts two new classes, the Shaman and Twin Fighter, also including the update guys is two new dungeons, each with new boss monsters, new pets, a party search system, five new mission maps, and of course, new weapons and armor. And again guys, this update launched on September 1st, so it's already live. And the video, video you're seeing in the background is actually the official trailer for the update, and then again, the update is called New Origins Into the Darkness. Next up guys, on August 31st, 2011, Game Mania released the first update for Loose and Heart called Scania. Sounds like the server from uh, MapleStory actually. Scania, Scania, whatever. Anyway, the update adds several new things to the game, new choreography, new zones, world bosses, and guild vs guild PvP. It's the first of many updates planned for Loose and Heart. Also included the update guys is 13 new areas for players to explore and 10 additional world bosses to conquer. Next up guys, a new region to Mythos Online has been revealed, it's called the Fog Island of Horror and it's called Region 4 in Mythos. It adds several new areas to the game and a zombie filled island which has two castles of, of opposing forces. The update which adds a new area to the game also increases the game's level cap to 55 as well as changes to the in-game skill system. A tower defense style minigame called Aura Crystal Defense has also been implemented in the game. And for those that didn't know, Mythos was published and is published by Frogster. Up next guys, on August 31st, 2011, Netmarble came out and released another update for Uncharted Waters online. Well not really released, they announced the update which will add a bunch of new things to the game including additional shipbuilding choices. Depending on what materials players use to build ships, it will determine that ship's capabilities and durability. Players will also attain steering proficiency with the new ships, giving more control while sailing and opening up more options for customization. Also including the upcoming update is a promise by Netmarble to expand the game's chat system so players can talk globally. Next up guys, Petroglyph Games announces Rise of the Immortals will be launching on September 12th out of open beta into full release. And Rise of the Immortals, as you can probably tell by the gameplay video in the background, is a mobile style MMO which aims to compete with League of Legends as well as Heroes of New Earth. Anyone who plays or played in the game's open beta gets a free skin in the game for Psycho Zen. And again, the game is launching on September 12th, 2011. Next up guys, Black Prophecy announces early de details of its upcoming expansion pack, Episode 2, Species War, which is set to release in early September. The update will add a new Warzone feature where players can face off against each other in faction warfare in disguise. Play well, space action, not skies. Players will battle over control of each other's Warzone outposts for a chance at a large chunk of experience and Warzone exclusive blueprints. Gaming Go is set to release more details soon. Next up guys, Dragon Nest releases the Edge of Darkness update in the game which is actually live already as I'm doing this video. Edge of Darkness challenges players to defend the goddess statue through waves of monsters for a chance at enhancement plates, titles, and other rewards. Also including the update guys, a PvP ladder has been added including ranking for 1v1 PvP which will match players based on level. Dragon Nest for those that don't know is published by Nexon and is a Southeast Sea version published by Cherry Credits, which actually is global, I believe. But either way, the video you're seeing in the background is the official trailer, well, slash launch trailer for Edge of Darkness. Well, guys, that's it for MMO News, but as for upcoming games, we have Lovinia Online, which begins its open beta on September 7th, and as we all know, open beta pretty much means full release anyway. The game's open beta will feature improvements to localization and in-game performance, and the level cap has been raised to 78. And Lovinia Online is, well, just Lovinia, actually. It's published by Outspark. And you'd expect the first look for the game coming soon. Well guys, that's it for upcoming games, but as for games that recently launched, we have Tank Ace, which began its open beta on September 1st. Tank Ace, as you probably guessed, is a tank-based MMO, and it's published by Onnet, which is actually Games Campus. And in case you couldn't tell by the video in the background, it's a World War II based tank, tank game actually. And since going over beta, the game introduced the achievement system where players can earn rewards including currency experience and items for meeting specific goals or requirements. It's taken quite a while since the game was first announced to actual release, but yep, Tank Ace is actually out now. Well guys, that's it for MMO News and announcements for the week ending September 4th, 2011. Now if you want to read about or learn more about any of the news mentioned in this video, simply head on over to mhot.com slash news. If you want to discuss anything in this video, simply head on over to mhot.com slash forums. Anyway guys, so Mayor, signing off.